Hello, this is Tom from Tribe for Productions with another Blender quick tip. And then this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can make ripples in water without using the uh, fluid modifier in Blender or the fluid simulation in Blender. Uh, the simulation in Blender, fluid simulation, and all simulations in Blender, they take quite a long time to render. But using this method that I'm about to show you is going to be uh, less taxing on your CPU or on your GPU. And I'm going to be using Blender 2.81. I'm going to open that up. I'm not too sure if it works in 2.79 and below, but I know it works in 2.8 and above. And we're going to press delete to get rid of this cube. Press shift A. Give us a plane. Let me turn on my screencast keys. You can see what keys I'm pressing. Make sure it works. There, there it is. And we're going to scale this up. Press S to scale it up. This S and uh, drag your mouse left click to accept the changes I'm going to hold down shift my middle mouse button to reposition um, my mesh and my viewpoints I'm going to minimize this by dragging this in when that uh, when you have your, your cursor over that edge turn it to a double arrow hold down your left uh, mouse button just drag it across to uh, minimize that I'm going to subdivide this press going to into edit mode and press tab and I'm going to press W on my keyboard, subdivide. From the uh, pop-up menu, I'm going to expand that. Click in that parameter and change this to 30. Press Enter. I'm going to minimize that again. Tap Get Out of Edit Mode and go to my Modifier tab here. Click on that. The modifier I'm going to add first, we can add first, is the Subdivision Modifier. And that's to give us just a smooth <coughs> excuse me, a smooth um, appearance of our mesh. This is going to be our water. We're not going to add any textures to it. I'm just going to show you how this works, how this uh, modifier works. And the next thing we're going to do is add the wave modifier. Click on that. And right out of the box, it gives us some really crazy results. Uh, let's press play and see what we, we can get here. And it pretty much simulates something like a um, piece of cloth or fabric flapping in the wind. And that's not what we're looking for. We want to have waves coming, or this to simulate waves in water, like you drop a pebble in here, and it's ripples, causes ripples across the water. Now the uh, parameters, parameters that you can adjust are right down here. And the important thing to know is make sure your subdivision surface modifier is above your wave modifier, because that's how uh, Blender works. It works in, um, <coughs> excuse me, works in sequence, which is whatever's at the top is what's going to be simulated first before what's at the bottom so we wanted to subdivide the surface first before it simulates the wave so that's why it's in this uh, arrangement there's something in my throat so I apologize my vo voice sounds kind of scruffy but the parameters I've seen that work best with these four you, you can change all these parameters the offset the life of it the damping the position there's a better way to do the positioning of the, of the ripples and I'll show you that in a few minutes but the main parts you want to uh, adjust are the, these four parameters down here. And I've played with this long enough to know which ones work best. Let me pull this up. So the speed is going to be 0 0.02. So I'm going to change this to 0 0.02. Enter. And what else? The height is going to be 1. So turn this to 1. Change this to 1. Click on that. Change it to 1 and then our width is going to be 0 0.094 0 0.094 enter and the last one we're going to change is the narrow which is 0 0.75 and that's the um, I think the distance between each ripple how wide or how thin the ripples will look so let's look at that again it's going to be 0 0.75 Point seven five enter and let's see what that looks like yeah those are our ripples right there looks pretty good and to get smoother looking ripples press W on your keyboard and shade smooth and let's play that back again and that's a lot smoother let's zoom in with our mouse I don't know I think uh, whenever there's a simulation it disables the screencast keys up here because I don't, I don't see them Someone just uh, disables it completely, which is weird. 
but anyway uh, we're going to now simulate a better way to position our ripples and to do that you just use an empty so press shift A on your keyboard and from the pop-up menu you're going to click on empty plain axis and we're going to press S on our keyboard and drag our mouse up to make the empty bigger so we can see it better. And then we're going to go back to our mesh here and in the uh, wave modifier, click on this, um, this eyedropper with their left mouse button, hover over the empty and left click on that because we're going to have the empty um, direct or I guess let us know where our ripples are going to be and so when we press play and we press on our empty press G we just move our empty around you can see the ripples follow our empty and it just goes wherever the empty goes so if you want ripples to start from the edge you just have your, your empty start from that position same thing in the center same thing towards this edge yeah, and that's how you pretty much simulate ripples in Blender using the wave modifier without having to use the um, fluid simulator. So this is great. It's easy. It's less taxing on your CPU. And it works great. So yeah, this was uh, today's Blender quick tip. Ho hopefully it was helpful to those who of you who are watching. Hopefully it was. I'm glad to make these tutorials for you guys. And I thank you guys who have subscribed in the past and for you guys who will still subscribe in the future. And I will see you guys on the next one. You have a great day. All right. Adios.